But for Bruce. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I want to acknowledge the celebration this weekend of the Holy Festival, the Festival of Colours, as it's widely known. It's an ancient Hindu festival, also known as the Festival of Spring or the Festival of Love. It originated in India, but it's now celebrated across much of Asia and now the rest Western world because of the fast-growing and vibrant Indian diaspora communities across so much of the world. It's a festival celebrated now by over a billion people worldwide, the Festival of Lights, including many hundreds of thousands of Australians of Indian origin. It's about the triumph of good over evil. Of course, the most widely known part of Holi is where people smear each other in colour and drench each other with water, and it's enormously good fun, I must say. Um, now, I'm proud to represent in the electorate of Bruce a vibrant and fast-growing uh, Indian diaspora community, and unfortunately I fear again this year that the COVID restrictions will limit and curtail somewhat the celebration of the Holy Festival in my community and many parts of Australia. But I say to any Australian who hasn't experienced the Holy Festival, whenever you can, whenever you have the opportunity, go experience it. The community is so welcoming in talking to you about their traditions and also, uh, I would say, wear some old clothes or an old suit is a good tip. Um, so do have some fun, um, but also reflect on the message of holy, good over evil. It's an opportunity to end and rid yourself of past errors, to forgive others and to end conflicts, be they in your family, community, workplace or wherever, and to spread positivity around you. And so I wish everyone celebrating holy a happy holy and I thank the Australian Indian community for their contribution to modern Australia. You enrich our community. You participate in every aspect of Australian life while continuing to share your culture and traditions with your children and with the broader community.